Celebrate with a clap. Celebrate with a shout. Celebrate with joy. Whoa. Whoa. Hallelujah. Papa, we celebrate you. Thank you so much. 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 But the word of God can never be enough. We hunger for more. Lift your two hands above your head. Put them together with a joyful shout. Let us receive our Papa, Dr. Amen Damina. Glory. Whoa. This is the last service of homecoming 2022. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. Oh, Gabada, Gabada, Gabada. You're my brother, you're my sister. So take me by the hands. Together we will walk until he comes. There's no foe that can defeat us as we walk inside the sun. As long as there is love, we will stay. thank you for the cord of love that binds us together as a family. We thank you Lord for the mandate that binds us together to reach the nations of the earth with the revelation of Jesus like never before. And we rejoice that you are building in us an army of people that the devil cannot withstand an army of people that would defend the gospel, an army of the people that will proclaim this gospel very loud on top of the roof of the houses on top of the mountains, in the valley in the seas, across the oceans. We will preach this gospel in every man's world and we rejoice that you've trusted us and honored us with this mandate and lord we rejoice that you've not only honored us with the mandate you you are equipping us refreshing us renewing us and walking through us to reach your love your world that you so love that you died for and i ask that revelation knowledge keeps flowing this morning as we fellowship in the light of your word in jesus precious name and every believer says a powerful amen Lift your right hands above your head. Let's release our faith together. As we say these words, I am born of God. I am born of the word. The word of God is my nature. I do not struggle to do the word. I do the word naturally. Therefore today, I will understand the word of his grace. I will be built up. By the end of this service, I will never be the same. Never ever be the same again. In Jesus name. And every believer says a powerful amen. amen. Well it's homecoming 2022. The last session of homecoming. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. Grab your pen and notebook your Bible. You can be seated with your sweet smart self this morning. We have some preaching and teaching to do before impartation. But before that we have a, you know, a, a few things to also do. Um. Uh, today the last day we're so glad and appreciative of everything God has done for us this whole week this whole one month of 30 days of glory it's just been amazing and wonderful and refreshing and it's been so inspiring to have all of our coordinators travel all the way from different nations 
to get here and be part of what God is doing with us as a church family. I want to use the opportunity to quickly welcome all the online viewers, everyone watching on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, social media. Kingdom Life Network, all of you are part of this family and we love you. We're glad, especially those of you that are dedicated on social media to keep encouraging people to follow what we teach. We really honor you and we thank you. We love you. And we look forward to you moving beyond social media to creating campuses and helping to get much more people within our communities to this life. But we really love and salute you. You know, I was just thinking of this, Pastor Gospel. Pastor Gospel, I was just thinking of this. 2017, 2016, 2017. I'll be teaching. I'll see Pastor Gospel. Then I didn't know him online. Dr. Abel Damina, what hearing? Every time I come live, Dr. Abel Damina, what hearing? Then he will stay there and be waiting for anybody to say nonsense. <laughs> boah. 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 Eventually, we got to meet. And look at what God has done with the Lagos. You know, he started Lagos. And then from the first campus in Lagos, which was meeting at Excellence Hotel, then other campuses began to spring forth, you know, all over Lagos. And look at what God is doing with all the various campuses in Lagos. Just obedience to God. And moving beyond social media to begin to bring brethren together. You know, I was just thinking of it, Pastor Gospel. We love you, man. Thank you so much. For your selflessness and the sacrifice. Thank you. You know, I was just thinking of that as I was thinking of social media. I have so many of you coordinators to really honor and appreciate. Let me begin with Pastor Matthew, who coordinates our global family, global power city campuses. Please stand, Pastor Matthew. We love you. We love you. He coordinates the campus in Abuja. Look at all the many campuses that are springing up all over Abuja and the northern part of Nigeria. You know, we love you. We love you and honor you as, as, as a family. Thank you for what you do for us. I want to appreciate the regional coordinators, Pastor Jessica, all the way from USA. She coordinates. Our city, it's USA, USA and Canada. She came with USA, Canada, and the rest of the world. Bless you and thank you for coming. Also, want to appreciate you know, Pastor Gospel, who I just uh, introduced. He coordinates our West African operations, all the campuses that are opening up all over West Africa. We love you, Pastor Gospel, and thank you for what you do. We have Pastor Efosa and his wife, PCI Benin. They are right here, they've been here with us. We love you. Thank you for what you do for the brethren in Benin. Are the brethren in Benin here by any means? When I call your campus coordinators, if you're here, jump up and clap and celebrate. Let's know you're here. So, Benin, can we feel you? Can we feel you, Benin? <laughs> Glory. All right, you can be seated. Lagos, can we feel Lagos? Pastor Gospel is here. <laughs> Glory. Okay, you can be seated. Abuja, can we feel Abuja? Pastor Matthew. <laughs> Glory. Okay. Okay, Pastor Jessica is here. Can we feel you as a We also have Pastor Sophie Obo, PCI Berkshire in the UK. Thank you, Pastor Sophie, for all that you do for us and for Power City. We love you. Praise God. Let's also have Pastor Fati, PCI Niger Republic. She's here, Pastor Fati. Thank you. We love you. Thank you for what you do for us as a family in Power City. Let's also have Pastor Olu and Shenwu all the way from Power City, Maryland. She coordinates the campus there. Pastor Shenwu, thank you. Bless you. We love you. Let's also have Pastor Moss, PCI Gaborone, Botswana. Thank you, Pastor Moss. Pastor Moss coordinates all of our operations in, in Botswana, and they're just opening up campuses all over Botswana. We're proud of what you guys are doing in Botswana, and we're excited. You know, I know the brethren in Botswana are screaming and making noise now, you know. <laughs> Pastor Chinedu Oji, PCI Enugu. Pastor Chinedu, thank you for all you do for us as Power City Enugu. Pastor Princess, PCI Onicha. Pastor Princess, where is she? Thank you, Pastor Princess and the brethren from Onicha. Thank you for what you do for us as a family. Pa Pastor Roland, PCI Asaba. Pastor Roland, where is he? 
Glory, Pastor Roland, we love you. And all the brethren from Asaba, we're so glad. We're glad to have all of you here. We honor you and what you do. Pastor Benjamin works with Pastor Roland in Asaba. Pastor Ben, where are you? We love you. Bless you, Pastor Ben. Bless you, Pastor Ben. All right, Pastor Samuel is also here. PCI Apu in Abuja. Pastor Samuel, bless you. Thank you for what you do for our brethren in Apu. Pastor Priska, the bishop with capital Lagos. PCI Abuja. Thank you, Pastor Priska. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Pastor Daniel Isiaku is also here. PCI Kefi. Thank you, Pastor Daniel, for what you do for us in Kefi. We also have um, Pastor Fola. Pastor Fola, all the way from Croydon Campus. Pastor Fola. What are you doing there, Pastor? Please come find a place for Pastor Fola for me. Uh, in my father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. We love you, Pastor Fowler. Thank you for what you do and all the brethren in Croydon. And, you know, we, we, we just love you guys. Let's celebrate Pastor Fowler. Let's also celebrate Pastor Frank Ababalola, PCI Guagualada in Abuja. Thank you, Pastor Frank and the brethren in Guagualada. Also, we have Pastor Simeon Odo, PCI Kuje in Abuja. PCI Kuje. Bless you, Pastor Simeon. We love you and what you do for us as a family. Pastor Paul. Joseph Polika, PCI Swife, PCI Oweri. Where are they? Bless you. Thank you for what you guys do for us as a church family. Pastor Stanley Omagbe, me, PCI Lekki, supporting Pastor Funke. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. We love you and thank you for what you do for our family right there in Lekki. Pastor Victor Ofugwe in Germany. One of, our, one of my sons in Germany has been here with us. Love you. Love you, Pastor Victor. Thank you. Sister Laila, PCI Pretoria, South Africa. Where is she? Where is she? How did you get there now? How did you get there? All these coordinators that are sitting far away. If you can get me some extra seats, we can actually fit in some seats by the pulpit here. I, I want all the coordinators to be where I can see their faces. You know, uh, so if you can get a seat for Sister Laila, let's clap for her as the ushers help her to get a seat. PCI Pretoria, South Africa. Pastor Sharon, PCI Togo. Lome Togo, International, ICMA. One of my songs that I'm very proud of, a consistent, solid man of God, doing a great work in Southampton. Coordinates ICMA International. Pastor Kufre, Kufre James, where is he? Okay, he's right here. <laughs> I was looking for you there. <laughs> we love you, Pastor Kufre. Thank you for what you do for us and what you do for ICMA International. Pastor Akam Frank and wife, Power City International, Port Harcourt. Where are the Port Harcourt brethren? See them up there on the gallery and see them all over. So, so, so glad to have all of you. Eh? Bielsa is also your PCI Bielsa. Okay, they came along with Port Harcourt. Can we celebrate PCI Bielsa? We are starting a church in Bielsa, right? All right, bless you, PCI Bielsa. We also have... Um, Pastor Funke Jones, all you do for us, you and Pastor Jones, both of you, tell him that I took time to say thank you to him, openly, he's not able to be with us, but we look forward to seeing him very soon. Can we celebrate both of them for their labor for the brethren in Lekki, Lekki Campus? Pastor Raymond and Fidelia came all the way from Los Angeles, USA. They coordinate our campus there. Bless you and thank you. For traveling all those hours to get here. We love you and we thank you. You know, the USA people are the people that I've been, I've been concerned about because of time difference. But it's like they just, they just came in and flew into the timing. Praise God. Thank you for what you do for us there in L.A.
Pastor Rose, PCI Victoria Island. Pastor Rose, thank you for what you do for the brethren and for all of us in, in VI. Bless you and welcome. We also have Pastor Ugo James. You know, you remember the first campus. Makodi, Makodi campus, Makodi campus. Makodi campus. We love you, Pastor James. And all the brethren in Makodi, we love all of you. Thank you for all you do for us as a Power City family and for the brethren in Makodi. Thank you. Thank you this morning. Also, we have Pastor Cletus Chukudoze, PCI Iyana Isachi, Lagos. Bless you, Pastor Chukudoze. We love you. Thank you for what you do for our church family. Then we also have in attendance Bishop Isaac Mbauchi. He's one of us doing a great work and he's here with He's been here for one month now with his assistant. Total gospel. Total gospel. Let's celebrate them both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it is important to take time. This one I'm doing is also ministry. I hope you know that. Yeah, it's important. Then we also have Pastor Christian. He works with Pastor Princess in Onicha. You know Onicha, they are on three radio stations. Three radio stations in Onicha. And uh, they are even telling me they may add it to five. That they are working on it. You know, they, they are not playing games at all. Uh, uh, chilling with the big boys. Where is Pastor Christian and his wife? They are here somewhere. Somewhere there. Please, Silas, look for somewhere for them. I want to see their faces. Let's clap for them and celebrate them. We honor you both for what you do for us as Power City and as a family. We have Pastor Michael, PCI Abano de Carilas. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Michael and the brethren in Abba. We appreciate. Now, we have campuses also within Aquaibon. Okay, we've been opening campuses in different local governments. And I want to quickly acknowledge them as we just clap for them. You know, uh, Pastor Innocent coordinates our campus in Ikotek Pene. Ikotek Pene local government. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, and the brethren from Ikotek Pene. See them at the back looking glorious. We love you, Ikotek Pene campus. We love you. Bless you. We are happy to have all of you in the service. Pastor Okore coordinates Abak Campus. Abak, A-B-A-K. Where is Pastor Okore? Pastor Okore, is he here? I can't see Pastor Okore and I can't see Abak. Pastor Victor, is he here? Where? He doesn't have a voice. Is he I'm here? No, he's not here. Look for him. He's not here. He's not here at all. Pastor Umoren and Pastor Nathan... Ikoroku Ikono, a back. See them there at the back. Can you hear their voices? So if a back was here, why didn't we hear that voice? <laughs> we celebrate and honor all of you, Pastor Moran. Where is he now? Where is Pastor Moran now? Are you sitting with your people? That's a good shepherd. A good shepherd sits with his congregation. <laughs> clap for them. Clap for them. Pastor M.M. George in City Boom, local government. Is he here? Is he here? Let's clap for him over there. God bless you. Oh, see all of them. See them there. Let's clap for them. God bless you in City Boom, local government. Brother Kelly Robert, 18 and local government. Where is he? Brother Kelly. See him over there. Where are the brethren from 18 and see some of them? God bless you. We love you. Okay, we also have Brother Idonge Sit in part any local government. Brother Idonge Sit, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Somewhere, somewhere. Up, up there. Let's clap for him. God bless you. We love you. <laughs> Pastor Lord Day. Pastor Lord Day is from Okobo local government. Where is he with his campus? Pastor Lord Day. Okobo. Let's clap for them. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We we'll also have Pastor Patrick Odu, or Oron local government. Where is Pastor Patrick and the Oron brethren? See them over there. Let's clap for them. God bless you. God bless you. We're so glad to have all of you in the house. We we'll also have um, Pastor Benjamin Udum, Etimekbo local government. Where is he and the brethren from Etimekbo? Bless you. See the brethren from Etimekbo. Clap for them. God bless you. God bless you. See them there. All this is Etimekbo. Whoa, clap for them. That's a big campus there. 
God bless you. God bless you, Etimepo. That's really good. That means I'll come to Etimepo very soon. Yeah, I'm impressed by, by, by that. Okay, Pastor, Pastor Udeme Udum, Esenu Dim local government. Is he here? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Esenu Dim. We appreciate and honor all of you that came from there. Then we also have Evangelist NO2, Etimepo. Okay, he also came with the Etimepo team. Can we clap for him? And then we also have Pastor Nelson from Eket Campus. Pastor Nelson. Where are the Eket brethren? Let's clap for the Eket brethren. God bless you. We're so glad to have all of you from Eket, from Eket. Finally, for today, because by this time when we come next year, the campuses will be in hundreds. <laughs> you are not saying amen to that. If this place no carry us, we go stadium. What are you talks? What are you talks? What are you talks? If you don't get it, glory. Pastor James, all the way from Power City International, Kaduna. Pastor James and his wife. God bless you. We love you. Thank you for what all of you do for us in the Kaduna area. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. I didn't hear a powerful amen. All right. Are you ready for the word of God? Meet Alabada. When somebody come to your house, you they introduce yourself. When somebody come to your house, you they introduce yourself. You open door. You say, come in. You give him water. He is the only person to be attended to. But Uyo, when I try. <laughs> Pastor Praise and his wife, we love you guys. Thank you. Thank you both for what you do for us. We love you, Pastor Praise. Don't you just love Pastor Praise and his wife? Praise God forevermore. Pastor Philemon is also here, coordinates our Power City Calabar. I don't know why I keep forgetting Pastor Philemon. I shouldn't be forgetting you. Praise God. Thank you and your wife for what both of you do together to ensure that this vision keeps finding expression. You know, we take time to acknowledge labor because Brother Paul dedicated a chapter. Romans chapter 16. He dedicated a whole chapter in his book to recognize people who labor. Salute this in the house of this. Salute that of the church in the house of this. He didn't ignore it because it's part of doctrine. Recognizing laborers is part of doctrine. It's not like, ah, why are they wasting time? You don't understand Bible. There are laborers and they must be acknowledged. I didn't hear a good amen. Yeah. It's important. It's part of preaching. It's chapter 16 Romans. We just read Romans a whole chapter now. So now we can enter other places. Well, clap for yourselves, everybody, for being part of this service. Amen. Are you ready? The true worship of God, the last part of this. Uh, the book of John, chapter 4, verse 19. Let me begin from verse 19. John, chapter 4, verse number 19. <clears throat> The woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Next verse. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and you say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Next verse. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, believe me the hour cometh, when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship, you know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews or the Savior is a Jew. Next verse. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Next verse. God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So we began to look at the true worship of God and we established that the worship of God is not a song. The worship of God is the nature of the born again believer. You are born not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. 
in the book of John chapter 3 where Jesus and Nicodemus had a discourse Jesus said to Nicodemus except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God then in verse 5 he said to Nicodemus except a man be born of water and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of God that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit marvel not I say you must be born again so the believer is a man that is born of the spirit. He says, God is spirit. They that worship must worship in spirit. The believer is born of the spirit. Therefore, worship is the lifestyle of the believer. Worship is the lifestyle of the believer. Worship is not just a song. Worship is the believer's lifestyle. If the believer is singing in a worshipful way, then that song becomes a part of his worship. But a singing is not worship for the believer. Worship is the totality of the believer's lifestyle. Where well, we got the word proskuneo. And then we move to the word laterio. A new reality Jesus introduced in Matthew chapter 4 verse 10. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve. Him only only shall thou serve the word laterio him only shall thou serve so we said you cannot be a worshiper without service worship without service is pretense worship without service is hypocrisy and then we moved on in the first service to establish that ministry is not a position ministry which is service is not a title Ministry is not where you sit in church or where you don't sit. Ministry is not age. And ministry is not acquisition. Ministry is service. In Matthew 20, 28, put it up for me, Matthew. Chapter 20, verse number 28. Mm -mm. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. To be a minister, the same word, diconio, to serve, a ransom, a Lutheran for many. Jesus is a Lutheran for many, a ransom. So ministry is not acquisition of things. Ministry is not fame. And ministry is not limelight. Ministry is not fame. And ministry is not limelight. I see some guys just, they've not even understood doctrine. They've opened a Facebook page where they are preaching. What are you preaching? For the three and a half years of the disciples of Jesus with Jesus, none of them was found preaching anywhere. They were all moving with Jesus. Once or twice Jesus sent them to see how much they have understood what they learned. And when they came back, he put them back in class. None of them went to preach. You can't just jump and start preaching because you will wreck the faith of many that follow you. Because you have not yet seen how far the journey is going to go. There are things you have not yet understood doctrinally. Doctrinally. So you run off. And then you begin to say things that we are not saying. You begin to run to conclusions that we have not arrived at. Because you are not patient. You are in a hurry. You are half-baked. Medical science, just to work on human natural body. A student of medical science goes through the school for six years. Then he goes for housemanship. If he fails any course, he carries forward. Just to work on human bodies. Thereafter, he cannot be trusted to operate on human beings. That's physical body. Look at the number of years somebody has to sit down and learn. And even in his practice, if he is found doing a malpractice, his license is revoked. His license is revoked. The same thing with the legal, the legal field. The lawyers go through a lot of rigor, reading, reading. That's why they are called luminaries because of the depth of reading. Then they graduate and they go to law school. Then they come and work under, under you know, um, experienced lawyers in a firm. So that they are still being trained. 
It's only ministry. Somebody will just stand up, scratch his head, and carry his Bible and just be interpreting it anyhow. No thorough, no details. And that is why there's a lot of abuse in ministry all over the world. Because a lot of people just say, I had a vision, I had a voice. No proper training, no sound training. And ministry is not a product of vision and voice. Ministry is a product of discipleship, a product of spiritual growth. As you begin to grow and mature in the things of the spirit and mature in doctrine, you begin to build capacity to help other people to learn. It's so important. And that is why in the body of Christ, we must begin to pay attention to some of these details. It's so critical, especially ministers that are rising from our ministry that really want to do ministry properly and for a long time and continue to help people properly, you know, to serve Christ and live for Christ. We cannot afford to compromise the quality of training that is required for us to fulfill this mandate. Can I hear a powerful amen? So we said once you are not committed to service, Anything else you are doing has shifted from ministry. And the danger there is this. Because ministry is about men. And men are given to praise and worship of whatever they are not doing. You have to be very careful. Because if people are not found. If they are not fine. If somebody is not fine. He claps for somebody that is fine. If somebody is not handsome. He claps for somebody that is handsome. That's human nature. We celebrate what we don't have. So the moment you now are the person standing before people. You are the one preaching. They are the ones listening. You are the one praying. They are the ones receiving. There is a tendency that you start thinking that what they expect of you and what they applaud you for is ministry. But that applaud is not ministry. That's why Kenneth E. Hagin left us with precious words. You must be dead to the praises of men. You must be dead to the praises of men. The man, Dr. Paul Yonggi Cho, also left us with precious words. He says, praises are like chewing gum. Chew it, but never swallow it. Chew it. But never swallow it. So the moment you do it for show, you're already compromising the message. Look at, you know, the Matthew chapter 6 narrative. Jesus said, don't pray like those who pray loud to be seen by men. And he says, when they are fasting, it shows on their faces. They love greeting on the streets. He said they have their reward already. That when they are praying and people are telling them, well done, that's the reward for their prayer. So when you do ministry and all you're looking for is praises of men, as men are praising you, that's your reward for that ministry. You have no reward with Jesus. And that's very, very important and very humbling. Looking for people's commendations or relying on Facebook likes, you will commit suicide. Because there are times you are doing the writing, everybody will, nobody will like it. Nobody will like it. And then you are doing the wrong thing, everybody is liking it. I found out that on, on Facebook, if you really want likes, you must do useless things. If you are a woman, just stay naked and be talking nonsense. You will see people gather. Because flies will gather where food is open. When you open food, flies will gather. That means that food is so useless. The only thing it can attract is the assemblage of flies. So you can't rely on the praises of men. You can't depend on the uploads of men. This ministry is to Jesus. The service is to Jesus. When you teach and preach, it's to Jesus. It's true that men are the beneficiary, but the person it goes to as worship is Jesus. When you raise disciples, sometimes it can be turbulent. Sometimes it can be challenging. Sometimes it can be discouraging. But you must always remember, it is your worship to Jesus. Men are the beneficiaries, but Jesus gets the worship out of it. You know, when people are happy, they say a lot of things. A lot of things. 
That's why on my birthday, you will see all kinds of people who come up with all kinds of pictures of me. They will write a lot of things. and all, Some people will be talking about me and writing for a whole week. And some people, their stomach will be turning as they are seeing it. As they are seeing it, their stomach is turning. Because they do not, they think, they think I need all that to be who I am. I do not need it. It is because of who I am that all that comes. You didn't hear what I said. I don't need it to be who I am. In fact, sometimes I don't see those things. Except they tag me deliberately. I don't see it. But there's no way your life will impact people. And people will not celebrate and appreciate your life. There's no way. There's no way. It's not pride. It's not blowing our trumpet. But even if you are in my kind of shoe, you also have to be careful. You chew the gum, don't swallow it. Be dead to the praises of men. See, when you are dead to the praises of men, when they don't praise you, it doesn't affect your service. When they praise you, it doesn't affect your service. Your service is constant because it's not dependent on praises or criticism. So you maintain your focus because praises and criticism are distractions. Both of them. When people praise you, and you get carried away. You will stop what you are doing to enjoy the praises. When people criticize you and it gets to you. You will stop what you are doing to fight. All of them are critics. They are, they, are, they are distractions. You must keep your eyes on the ball. They praise. They don't praise. You are still pushing. Am I communicating at all? You must learn how to use praises for encouragement. And not for a destination. It's so important. As a minister, as a servant of Christ, as a man or woman called to do the work of God. When they were praising Jesus and some people told them to keep quiet, keep quiet. Jesus said, hey, let me tell you. Even if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. That means I am not just a man. I am God. If men whom I came to don't recognize me, stones that I created will cry out. There are some people you can't stop people from praising them. You can't stop people from recognizing their labor. But you that is being recognized and praised must be dead to the praises. I'm teaching good here. The same place where they celebrated Jesus few days or weeks after. They shouted crucify him, crucify him. Because both praises and criticism are distractions on your focus to fulfill the call of God on your life. And that's why he says flee these things, O man of God. Don't entertain them. Don't let them get in your head. Don't let them distract you. Don't let them affect your quality of service. Am I communicating? So people can be fickle. They can be moved by what they hear. One minute they are celebrating you. Another information comes contrary. They fight you. Some people who followed me on social media after a while because they didn't follow well. Somebody said, Dr. Damina said this without verifying. They stopped following me because they were not following. They were not following. They were not following. They were fans. And fans fan as long as there's electricity. Once Nepal take light, fan stops. If you don't get it, But we are not fans. We are disciples. We are committed to Christ. We are committed to the gospel. Can somebody shout a powerful amen? amen? So we must be dead to the praises of men. Great men and women of God, God is going to use you. There are some of you, when you leave this homecoming, the kind of power you will be manifesting. When you speak, even the quality of your ministry is going to move up to a whole new level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The quality of your ministry. The impact. The impact. The way your life will be producing results in people's lives will be like you have never seen it before. But you must remember to be dead to the praises of men. You must remember to be dead to the criticisms of men. If there's anything I have learned in my few years of ministry is that criticisms don't affect me. If you know the way people have insulted and abused me for this message, I'm not moved. I'm not moved. I'm dead to it. When they finish abusing me, I come live. I say the same thing I was saying. As I was saying. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes. 
saying the same thing is not grievous to me. And for you that hear me, it is safe for you. The same thing over and over and over. We are not looking for new things. We want to be established in this consistent truth. It's not new things. It's not new things. Glory to God. Getting blessed. So it's important. Commitment, consecration, discipline can never be sweet. Commitment, consecration, and discipline can never be sweet. It's always contrary circumstances that make you stronger. Please write that down. It's always contrary circumstances that make you stronger. Contrary circumstances. In training men for ministry, train a man in Christ by contrary winds. Train a man in Christ by contrary wind. That's where your convictions are both. It is in the midst of opposition that a man's convictions are both. When you've not been opposed, you won't know whether you believe something or not. It is when opposition comes that you now decide whether this is what I believe or not. So opposition drives the roots deeper. Opposition drives the root of conviction deeper. Very important. That's where your convictions are obvious. When your expectations are not met, you are still holding on. When things you prayed for have not come, you are still focused. When things you were not expecting happen, you were not expecting to be removed from your work, you are removed. You were not expecting that your landlord should give you a quick notice. At the same time, he gives you a quick notice. And you still maintain your velocity in ministry. That is the proof of conviction. When storms come, trials come, opposition come, instead of distracting you, it drives your root deeper. Sometimes God allows us to be tested to see the level of our conviction. He just allows us. It's part of growth. Yeah, it's part of growth. You say, God, are you still there? I'm going through so much. But I have to preach this evening. Father, give me utterance. Give me unction. That when I stand before the people, I will speak as I ought to speak. At that time, you have suspended you. At that time, you have entered the regalia of a servant. You are not moved. You appear, you preach. I remember the day my daughter was kidnapped. The day my daughter was kidnapped. They just picked her up from my house. We are still trying to establish who kidnapped her and where she was. I was to preach that evening in Eket. I told mama, get in the car. She said, we have not yet heard about jail. I said, don't worry, we'll hear about jail. I'm preaching this evening. My heart broken. My body was like water. My system was totally finished. Because I, I, I love my children. My whole body was weak. But I knew I had to preach. We got in the car and we drove to Eket. When I got there and saw the crowd, I forgot that I have an issue. I came out and preached for one full hour. Prayed for everybody. After I left the pulpit, the feelings came back. I entered the car. I told mama, don't worry, it will be okay. Because we're committed to this. We stay in ministry in and out of season. Eventually, she's released. She came back home and she's still there and ministry is still going on. I have no moral right to tell you in spite of trial, stay in the ministry if I can go through trial and not stay in the ministry. Sometimes you see us come out brazen like this. You don't know what we're going through too. Every one of us goes through. There's nobody that doesn't go through. There's nobody. You see me smile and I'm happy all the time. I go through things. I go through trials. But I have made up my mind. I will not create a worship center for trials. No, no, no. I will not worship trials. There is only one person I worship. And him only I serve. His name is Jesus. The lover of my soul. 
When I go through the fire, he's with me in the fire. When I go through the waters, he's with me in the waters. No temptation has taken you, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted above what you can handle. And he will, with the temptation, make a way of escape. Ladies and gentlemen, there will always be a way of escape. Hiya! There will always be a way of escape. The devil doesn't have the final say. This is the victory. We have it that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Somebody shout, I hear you. Count it all joy. When you fall into diverse temptations, trial and test. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work at patience. Let patience have a perfect way. That you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. At the end of it all, you come out victorious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please see that. The devil could prolong the trial. The prolongation of a trial is still a trial of your roots. He could stretch it. You thought it will end tomorrow. And that is when it is really trying. When you are expecting the trial to terminate tomorrow. Then it stretches to next tomorrow. Then it stretches to next week. Then it stretches to another week. Now it gets to where you don't have a timeline. You don't have a timeline. You are just walking by faith and trusting God. Not knowing when it will terminate. That is when you are stamina for prayer. That is when you are resilient for prayer cruise. Will kick in at that time. Because at that time, what wins the battle is resilience. Endurance. Tenacity. Everything looked like all hell broke loose. You are still in ministry. You are still in ministry. You are still preaching. You are still helping. You are still building the kingdom. Then after a while, Brother Peter said, when you have suffered for a while, after a while, a new phase comes. That phase disappears. Then it's like it never happened. Then it's like nothing really happened. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. And then a new face opens up. You are refreshed. New things begin to happen. Because after Satan tempted Jesus three times, Jesus told him, it is written. Second time, it is written. Third time, it is written. Satan now left him for a season. And angels came to minister. At every time you overcome a face of trial, there is a ministration to refresh your soul. Somebody shout, I hear you. Yeah. You are not alone. Never quit ministry for trial. Even if you are not in ministry, you will be tried. So don't quit ministry for trial. Stay in it. Stay in it. Pray, stay. Take messages. Play them and fire up. Gather brethren. Be in fellowship. When trials come, be in fellowship much more. Much more. That's when you need to be around. Around the fire. Somebody say, I hear you. That's not when to go off. That's not when to take time off. You don't need that off at that time. It's a wrong time to be off. If I'm teaching good, shout, I hear you. Please sit down. Let me push a little more. What are you looking for in ministry? Magazine appearance? TV appearance? Is that what you're looking for? Ministry is more than that. It's more than that. You introduce somebody and forget somebody, he gets offended. Were you in it for recognition? You're not in it for recognition. I've been to meetings where they forgot me. They didn't introduce me. I enjoyed the meeting. At the end, I greeted everybody and I thanked the host. It, it takes nothing for me. You're not in it for recognition. You're in it for service. And a servant doesn't require recognition. Hey. A servant doesn't require recognition. Yesterday we were all eating and celebrating in the law feast. And there were some people that were serving us. And I was told some of them didn't see food to eat. After all the work, they went without food. But we ate. And we thank God for their hunger. That wouldn't mean they won't serve tomorrow. And if they serve tomorrow and we forget them, then they will learn to be bringing their food flags. 
So that if they forget me, that's the attitude of a servant. Jesus talked about a servant who went, walked in the farm, walked in the farm, then came back and served his master. But before serving his master, in Luke chapter 7, the master said to him, you have just come back. Go and eat food. He said, no, sir. You eat first. He said, why will you eat? He said, why will I eat? Why, 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 wouldn't, I, why wouldn't you why won't you eat? Why do you want me to go? Why do I? Why will I go and eat when you have not eaten? You are my master. Then he said to him, "I am happy to do what I am doing because that's my job as a servant." Paraphrased. After you have served and served and you are forgotten, you serve again. A servant is not in service for recognition. He's in service to serve. As long as you are not denied opportunity to serve, everything is fine. We are here servants. We are not showmen. We are not stars. Every Christian has been called by God to walk. Your moment you are a disciple, you must emulate Christ. Christ is son, but also a worker. Christ is son, but what proved his sonship is his service. Imagine if Jesus didn't die. He resisted death. Pastor Gospel, do you know, they will have made Jesus president of different countries. And he might have married many wives. Because once you lose focus of God's plan for your life, Satan will give you other things to do. That's why Jesus kept reminding himself, for this purpose was I born. To this end came I to. He kept announcing it. They went to buy meat. He said, I have meat to eat that you know not of. My, he was not saying it for them. He was saying it for himself. He will come to the synagogue and find the place where it was written of him to remind himself his mission. To stay focused. He kept reminding himself. Your eyes must remain on the ball. Once you are distracted. Bathsheba is not far. When it was time for kings to, to go to battle. That's where the book of First Kings says it. When it was time for kings to go to battle. And David tarried still. Kings were going to battle. David sat at home on a rocking chair. He doesn't understand times and seasons. He's rocking on a chair. Enjoying. He said, let me take a walk to the balcony. And just look at the city as the king. And he saw Bathsheba. Ah. A new mission. He has just received a new assignment. A new mandate. Sit and give him work. Go and get her for me. New assignment. We must get her. If David was in the battle with other kings, he would not notice Bathsheba. He would not kill Uriah. Ahutophel will not come for him. Stay with the mission. Your sanity, your sanctity, your discipline, your protection, your preservation is to stay with the eternal purpose of God for your life. Stay with it. Stay with it. Once you stay out of God's will for your life, you will do things you never thought you would do. You cast off restraint. When there is no vision, people cast off restraint. There will be no restraint anymore. You become callous, lascivious. You cannot stay long out of the will of God and survive. Please write that down. You cannot stay long out of the will of God and survive. You will choke. You will choke. Your oxygen is within the will of God. Your oxygen for life is within the will of God for your life. So a man must define his priorities and stick to them. Your priorities in ministry should not be appearing on a billboard 
or on a flyer or sitting in front or standing before Facebook page and, and preaching gospel that you yourself are still learning. That shouldn't be a priority. Who cares? When I started appearing on billboard and flyers, I had died to it because I expected it for a long time. It didn't happen. I even begged people to put me on their flyers. Small passport. They refuse. I said, just put small passport. At least let me just appear. They refuse. Yes, you know there is big size and there's small part. That the time they used to put in small corner like this, where you won't even see the person, you won't see the face very well, black and white. Then they just write his name. I remember the first flyers I printed was printed by my hand. I used hand to write the flyer, the name, the date, the time, ministering, and we cannot draw a picture. We were more passionate. It is when you are doing city ministry that you're looking for billboard. When you're doing village ministry, is there a billboard in the village? Who even look at it? Who, they, they, they are looking for food. You are giving them billboard. That's why till today I do ministry in the villages. I don't just stay in the cities. I go to the villages. I go to places where roads are not good. I go to places where roads are good. I go to churches that can afford to put me on in five-star hotel. And I go to churches that put me on the floor. Mama and I slept on the floor. You remember that meeting we went to? Because the spring in the middle of the bed was not working. So when we lie down, two of us will fall inside the middle of the bed. So I told her, who is punishing us? Let's put the mattress on the floor. So we carry the mattress, put on the floor, and we slept. The pastor didn't know we were sleeping on the floor till we finished and left. We must learn how to abound and how to abase. That's ministry. It's not every time things are going to be okay. But we cannot surrender the passion and the vision to convenience. No, 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 no. Except it's not the ministry of Christ. It's, except it's not his ministry. I still go to villages. I was preaching for Bishop. And Bishop was telling people, say, I will not come to their place. Because Bishop is in a place called Tafawa Balewa in Bauchi State. So you, you drive from Bauchi to Tafabalewa 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So every day, we will drive 45 minutes to go. I will preach, enter the car. We drive 45 minutes back. That's how we were preaching. He said, people say, I will not come. I said, come where? Are there no human beings here? Ministry is human beings. And we had such an explosion. Great work he's doing, by the way, in that part of the world. Because he himself could have decided to leave that place and go to a city. Which is the rave for many preachers. Once they are called, is Lagos. Once they are called, is Abuja. Once they are called, is Potakot. Once they are called... Somebody who saw me come to a bomb said to me, I must be sick. I said, why am I sick? He said, everybody is going to Abuja. You, you are coming from Abuja to this place. I said, are there no human beings here? It shows why they are in ministry. We are in ministry for souls. Anywhere souls are, we will go there. Jesus, the savior of the world, went to city and villages, teaching and preaching. That's our model for ministry. Cities and villages. The people pastoring in Lagos, what do they have that I don't have? What do they have that I don't have? What makes you think I cannot move myself to Lagos now and start church there? But I'm following the plan of God. I'm following the will of God. Pastor Gospel, did you say I should come? U.S. Abuja. Don't worry. You people are there for me. All of you are there for me. I will be visiting and visiting. Just follow the will of God. Follow the will of God. I mean, I know you people love me, you want me. I love you people too. I want to come and I will come. But the point I'm making is, we must know what the will of God is for our lives part time. Stay within that will. Stay within that will. Jesus said, I'm a servant. And I give myself to serve. Dolos daikonio. Matthew 27, I mean 20, 27, 28. 
Matthew 20, 27, 28. Put it up for me. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Next verse. Even as the son of man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and give his life a ransom for how many? For many. So, listen to this. Number one, we said to keep your fire alive. You must pay attention to the anointing within. Your devotion. Your time of prayer, your time of Bible study, your commitment to the world, and on a personal level, critical, buy the books, study the books, underline the books. If there are questions, raise them. Intelligent questions. That's how we grow. When we gather in the campus, we study together, we ask questions, we answer, we interact. Growth is taking place. Let me tell you. When growth is taking place, it may look like nothing is happening. But those are preparation times. Preparation times are never wasted because once you are prepared, opportunity will show. And when preparation meets with opportunity, success is born. Now it may look like all you are doing is just staying in the campus, taking care of a few people. David took care of a few sheep. Didn't know the day Goliath's opportunity will show Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Somebody shout faithfulness. Somebody shout it again. Say it for the last time. Number two, the anointing upon which is service. And then this morning we entered the spirit amongst believers. And that's why I'll be rounding off this class. The spirit amongst believers. The assembly is part of why we are strong our gathering and we close this morning by saying when satan wants to destroy and i'm using that word loosely he he a christian he takes him away from fellowship he takes him out of fellowship he he, he will bring offenses he will bring misunderstandings he will bring useless useless things to get you off and when he brings offenses gradually he takes you out when he takes you out, then he attacks you because he knows nobody can come to your aid. He's a master strategist. The Bible says he has wiles. We must not be ignorant. In 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 5 and 6, put it up for me. 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 5 and 6. After that, thou shalt come to the hill of God. Thou shalt come to homecoming. Uyo holy land tall. Holy land. You pee. Where is the garrison of the Philistines? And it shall come to pass. When thou art come to the to, 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 to homecoming, you will meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place with a psaltery and a tabret and a pipe and a harp before them, and they shall prophesy. Shakalaba. Give me the next verse. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon. Somebody shout upon. Upon thee and thou shalt prophesy with them. It's called, a, it's called environmental anointing. You come into an environment. What is floating in the environment comes on you. It's very contagious. It's very contagious. Put it up. Thou shalt prophesy with them and shall be turned into another man. Somebody say, another man is going back to my city. You are that man. Be turned to another man. Same thing with Elijah and Elisha. God told Elisha to go after Elijah. And they will meet at a place. And when Elijah met Elisha, Elijah told Elisha, follow me. Elisha said, I have to go and tell my parents. Elijah did not answer him. He took a cue from it and followed Elisha was older and Elisha was richer. He was older and richer, but he couldn't fulfill his life's purpose without Elijah. God is a master strategist. He has designed life such that no one person can fulfill the plan of God for his life without others. No selfishness in the plan of God. No selfishness. We all need one another. Did you know that God did not anoint David alone? In the anointing of David, God used Samuel. Why does God always use people to confirm what he does with other people? Why? If 
even Jesus was confirmed by Simeon and Anna the prophetess. Then later on, John the Baptist. Jesus. Three people. When he was going to start ministry, John the Baptist announced him. That's how God works. You mustn't get offended in the company where God has placed you. Please write that in capital letters. You mustn't get offended in the company where God has planted you. Never. Never. That's where you find a lot of stirring up. Paul said to Timothy, and he spoke to him emphatically, that the gift you have received is not gift at salvation. By the laying on of the hands of the elders. Specific. Elders laid hands on you. Gifts were stirred up in you. Look at 1 Timothy 1.6. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 6. 2 Timothy 1.6. 2 Timothy 1 6, brother. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Specific. There are certain hands when they are put on you, you must take note of them. It's not every hand that should come on you. He didn't say by the putting up of, of our hands. My hands. Because the man that is responsible for your doctrinal res, uh, uh, persuasion is the authority in your life. And that's the legitimate person to lay hands on you. You don't carry your head around. No. I went to a meeting where one pastor just started laying hands on everybody and he came to me. I just held his hand. I just held his hand. He said, what? I said, don't touch me. Move. He said, you don't want laying of hands? You don't want anointing? I said, not, not from you. Many years after, I went to his church, preached for him and laid hands on him. It's not in this country, it's abroad. He forgot because I made sure he didn't take note of me in that meeting. Because I knew that this one, I will lay hands on him soon. I went to his church, preached for him, knelt him down, laid hands on him. He drank well. You don't just carry a hand like that. Man. You don't use small cable to tap from high tension. It will blow off the cable. You don't lay hands like that. Just scratch his head. He said, the spirit says I should lay hands on all of you. <laughs> I just smiled. Not here. Don't do it here. God uses men. Look at Acts 13, 2 to 3. Acts 13, 2 to 3. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, separate me. Why didn't the Holy Ghost say, I have separated? Why would the Holy Ghost ask men? The Holy Ghost is there. And he's asking men to separate. Why didn't the Holy Ghost say, men, take note, I have separated. No. D these are divine protocols. Even Jesus. John the Baptist begged Jesus. Say, no, no, no. Jesus said, there is a righteousness that has to be fulfilled. Suffer it so to be. He knelt down. John the Baptist baptized him. They are divine protocols. They are divine protocols. That's why when we come to meetings like this, there are meetings of laying on of hands. There are meetings of prophesying to one another. There are meetings of praying for one another. There are meetings of instructions. Instructions. Why? Because this is a sharpening meeting to unleash you back to do ministry like never before. I didn't hear a powerful amen. amen. Write this down. God uses men for men. When you are in a local assembly, there's a supply of the spirit of God in that local assembly. Never listen to a voice that takes you out of fellowship. Never. Never listen to a voice that takes you out of fellowship. So 
So like we said, you must develop a culture of honor for meetings. You need that culture. Let's look at a few parables as I wrap up this service. Parables that culminated in the prodigal song. The first was the parable of a sheep. Notice the sheep got lost. Why was the sheep lost? Remember, the sheep didn't stop being a sheep. But the sheep was lost. Why? Because it was not in the sheep fold. It is still a sheep, but not in the sheep fold. So it is considered a lost sheep. When you don't belong to a sheep fold, a gathering, an assemblage of believers, you are a sheep but lost. You are a lost sheep. That's the first parable in that, that chapter of Luke where the parable of the prodigal son is. So what did the sheep do? I mean the shepherd. The shepherd found it and brought it back to the fold. He brought the sheep home. He didn't try to take care of the sheep in the wilderness. He brought it home to take care of it home. If you are, if you are going to be taken care of as a growing believer, you must belong to a home. You can't be taken care of on the road. So it's not just being with the shepherd. It is also being with the sheepfold. The gathering. The church. The gathering. The campus. Your house cluster. The same thing with the prodigal son story. Notice it's the same thing with the peace that was found in that house. The woman that lost her peace and swept and swept and swept. It's in the same chapter. Same context. Remember the peace was in the house. But not with the other pieces. That's the point. It was in the house, but it is lost. Because where the other pieces are, the piece was not there. Very important. So one of the fruit of being lost is being away from fellowship with brethren. A brother that is lost, a sister that is lost, is one that is away from the fellowship of the brethren. When you start seeing people avoiding fellowship, they are lost too. They are already talking to wrong people. They are already thinking wrong thoughts. Their mindset is already being affected. You should treasure fellowship. Because that's where the spirit upon is. The call to ministry, even for me, I expose myself to brutal trainings. God has things for you in this assembly called Power City that you won't get anywhere else. You won't get it in your home. You won't get it in your office. You will only get it in Power City. No matter how many meetings you do alone, homecoming is different. True or false? Even for us, Uyo Power City, Homecoming is different. True or false? Even for us. So it's not just about where Pastor Abel Damina is. It's not just about the headquarters. All of you that came from Lagos, America, London, Abuja, Port Harcourt, all over the world, Botswana, you all came with fire. So when you all came and we came, when that fire was combined together, the fellowship is at, is at another level. True or false? It's at another level. We must treasure meetings. We must treasure meetings. God called Israel out of bondage. He called them into the church. So it's not just attending. You must honor it. You must honor meetings. You must value it. Observe what is done closely so you can lambano. Everything happening here, let your eyes be on it so you can catch it. 
Brother Ren had bunk. You've been waiting, right? I didn't need your reminder because I said I would tell you. First of all, before I met Brother Bonke, I read his book. In his book, he told the story of how he was a Bible school student in England. And in Bible school, they read about the Jeffrey brothers. And in his heart, he desired that this great Jeffrey brothers who were evangelists turning the world right side up, he wishes one day he can find them if they are still alive. And on this fateful day, in England, in, in London actually, he said as he was walking to catch the train after Bible school was over to go back to Germany, on the street he just saw a little signboard by a house, the Jeffrey Brothers. What? He walked in. He forgot the train he's supposed to catch with the ticket. He knocked the gate. A lady came out and said, yeah, what can we do for you? He said, the Jeffrey brothers, is it the Jeffrey brothers I read of, of the revival? She said, yes, they live here. He said, are they still alive? He's the only one of them and he's very old. He does not entertain visitors. Bonke said, he felt like whatever I need to do, I must do it here. I must see this Jeffrey brothers. While he was contemplating, he said that big Welsh voice just sounded, let him come in. Let him come in. Meetings. Meetings. Bunker said he walked in, sat on the floor, and spoke with this man for hours. This man told him all the things they had experienced with Christ, their ministry, all the details. When he finished, he laid hands on Bunker and said, Father, everything you will have done with me that you have not done, and everything you did with me, I put it on this young man. Bonke said he stood up from that meeting, hardly could he walk. It was they put, like they put luggage on him. Finally got to the train and got back to Germany. Then they invited him to come and preach. First meeting after the encounter. He got to the meeting early and he met somebody, a member of the church who said to him, are you coming for the service? He said, yes. He said, in fact, our pastor invited a guest speaker. Nobody in the church is expecting to be blessed. And she didn't know she was talking to Bunky. And Bunky was the guest speaker. Nobody is expecting to be blessed. So Bunky said he walked down the road feeling bad, feeling depressed. Finally, he came back to the meeting for the first time in his life. While he was still preaching, a lady jumped out of wheelchair. The impartation has started working. The impartation. Has I remember, honey, I told you the story. I was in Johannesburg. Sit down. Johannesburg, South Africa. I went to preach. And after the service, I came into the hotel. Hotel. The Hyatt. The Hyatt in Johannesburg. As I walked into the elevator, two white men. And as I walked in there, I just greeted them. They said, are you a pastor? I said, yes. He said, they said to me, ah, Johannesburg is so blessed this weekend. We have a lot of men of God here. I said, which other men of God are here? They said to me, have you heard of R.W. Shamak? I said, yes, I've heard of R.W. Shamba. They said, we are his bodyguards. He's right in this hotel. I said, no, 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 I must see R.W. Shamba. I preach R.W. Shamba messages, 84, 85, 86, word for word. I must meet R.W. Shamba. They said, okay, come with us. They took me to his room. They knocked the door. He was already old. They said, oh. They went in, came out and said, he's so old. He said, he wouldn't be able to see you now. But can you be at this door, 6 a.m., he will meet with you. 5 a.m., I was standing when you know where you are. Six on the dot, he opened the door. Tall with his evangelistic voice. My brother from Nigeria. How are you? I said, blessed. I grabbed him. He hugged me back. Then while holding me, he said, do you know so, so, and so? He called some names in Nigeria. I said, very well. He said, those are my friends. I'm leaving this morning. But come with me. He took me downstairs, ordered for two cups of coffee. One for him, black coffee. He said, what, how do you like it? I said, the way you like it. He said, I like mine black. No sugar, nothing. I said, same thing. I like me that don't like coffee. Me too, I like mine black. Same thing. No sugar, no milk. He was drinking, I was drinking. 
He took me through his life story for three hours. Told me everything he's been through life and ministry. A, A, Allen, everything. One on one. At the end of it, he just grabbed me. Put his hand on my chest. Said, my brother, everything God has done with me and everything God has not yet done with me, I put it on you. For three days, my body was suspended. Three days, no hunger, no sleep. No hunger, no sleep. I was in that unction for three days. Meetings. Meetings. Now, Sidam Bonke now said, after that, years after, he came to Africa to preach. That's the story, right? He went to a village to preach a crusade for four days. The power of God hit the place. You know, him had Bonke's meetings. And you know, Bonke preached the true gospel of Christ. Okay. So he said, the last day of the meeting, a young man that has been following him and watching the meetings discovered that in that crusade ground, he will not be allowed access. So he knew the path they use in coming for the meetings because he said they used to travel two hours a day to get there and two hours back because where the hotel was was far from where they did the meetings. So this boy started trekking from the crusade and followed that pathway, pathway till about 12, 1 a.m. He now went and waited on the road alone in the midnight. He said because at crusade ground they will not allow him. So he came and stood on the road. As their convoy was coming, the boy stood in the middle of the road and lifted up his hands and was waving, if you like, push me down. If you like, kill me today. I must hear and had bonke. So as they got there, bonke asked them to stop. They stopped. He came out. Young man, what do you want? He said, the young man said to him, Brother Bonke, I've read all your books. I've been following your meetings. I was in the meeting tonight. My heart is on fire. I want what is on you to be found in me. I want to do what you do. <laughs> Bonke said, is that why you trekked all these, these kilometers to come and wait for me here? He said, yes, because if I'd waited at the crusade, they won't allow me. But I know on the road here, yeah, there will be no protocol to block me. Bonke said, he grabbed the young man. He said, Father, the hunger in this young man, whatever he wants from me, take it. He released it on the boy. The boy left, he left. They left and the boy left. The boy tracked till he got to the village. As he got to the village that morning, a child had died. You know the story. A child had died. On arrival, he said, what is on bunker has come on me. He went and raised the boy back to life. Not only raised the boy back to life, he started a crusade there. A crusade that ran for one, two weeks. All the villages started coming to the crusade. He too had a big crusade. Then Bonke said, he now went back to preach in that part of Africa. And the boy came to him. I said, you remember me? Bonke said, no, I don't. Who are you? He told him the story and told him what happened. He said, he asked the boy, two weeks of preaching? What did you preach? He said, the boy said, everything you preach, I preached it word for word. Say, Bonke laid hands again on him and said, let it go. <laughs> Meetings. When hands are laid on you, it is deliberate. Don't let hands come on you and you are not expecting something. There must be a hunger and a desire in your heart. Then when hands come on you, a steering takes place. Zaporakata. Leko shakola bahata. Membronda gaga. I desire to see you. That I may impart into you spiritual gifts. To the end. That you may be established. Somebody shout, I receive. I'm not hearing you at all. I want to hear you louder. I want to hear you louder. Stand with me. What is impartation? Impartation is not putting on you what you don't have. It's using a bigger spoon to stare what you cannot stare. There are things in you. The day you got born again, everything came in. We have to stare them out. Jacolota boss. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. Say it seriously, in the name of Jesus. I came here. I'm not going back the same person as i leave this conference as i leave this conference a different me is going back to fulfill the plan of god to fulfill 
my ministry to fulfill my mandate i didn't hear a powerful amen now i want you to put your hands on your head and i want you to pray with a burning desire tell the lord how you want to do ministry tell the lord how much of him you want to, in your ministry tell the lord the kind of ministry you want how much you want to see souls saved how much you want to see the kingdom of god established through you open your mouth and pray Open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth, open your mouth. I'm not hearing your voices. I'm not hearing your voices. They that hunger and thirst shall be filled. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. You use men like me in history. Use me, Lord. It is not of he that will let neither of he that run it. It is of the Lord that showeth mercy. Use me, Lord. It's not by might nor by power. It's by the spirit of God. Use me Lord. Take another 60 seconds. Pray some more. Use me, Lord. My city, my nation, my state, my community. Use me, Lord. You have used men in the past. You have used men like me. Men of like passion change their nation. Men of like passion change their city. Men of like passion change their communities. Men of like passion change their nations. Use me, Lord, in my lifetime. In my lifetime. Use me in my lifetime. I give you my life. I give you my strength. I give you my body. I give you my hands. I give you my voice. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. In my generation. Use me as light. Use me as a voice. Use me as light. In my generation. In my lifetime. Use me, Lord. The men you used are not better than me, Lord. By your grace, I yield myself. I yield my heart. I yield my soul. I yield my being. Use me, Lord, to take men out of darkness. Use me, Lord, to bring men to the light. Pray some more. 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 It ain't a mash of color of us. Pray some more, house. Use me. Use me. Use me. Use my hands. Use my hands. Whatever you are doing in this season, don't do it without me, Lord. Use me in my day. Use me in my time. Use me in my generation. Oh, God, I give you my all. Pray, 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 pray. They that hunger and thirst, they shall be filled. They shall be filled. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh, Branane, 
Wherever you are in this building, up on the gallery, under the gallery. Randa, 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 use me, Lord. on you is that contact once my hand touch you it's done you can now go and fire up once my hands touch you you can go and fire up zikola tabas Work. 
There is glory. Mighty. At work in me. At work in me. There is glory. Mighty. At work in me. In the whole. There is glory. At work in me, there is glory. Find it at work in the Holy Ghost. My hands, my hands, they heal my ears. Holy Ghost, my hands are here. My ears, my eyes. Oh, my hands are here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see in the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, there is glory, there is glory at work in me, at work in me, there is glory, mind at work in me, in the whole, oh, there is glory. At work in me, there is glory, mighty, mighty, at work in me, glory in the Holy Ghost, my hands are here, yeah, my eyes, they see in the Holy Ghost. They heal, the sick, the raise the dead. Oh, 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 my hands they heal. Yeah, yeah, my eyes, the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, oh, I heal the sick and I preach this gospel. I raise the dead. Hey, in the Holy Ghost, I do miracles, signs and wonders. The mighty move of God in me. In the Holy Ghost, I do miracles, and I preach this gospel like never before. Oh, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy, in the Holy, in the Holy Ghost, I preach this gospel, I heal the sick, in the Holy Ghost, there is glory. In power at work in me, and I know at work in me, there is power 
the move of the spirit ah, at work in me in the Holy Ghost I do miracles and I preach this gospel in the Holy Ghost in the Holy Ghost demons bow at my presence mountain move at my presence in the Holy Ghost in the Holy Ghost oh in the Holy Ghost in the Holy Ghost the power at work in me in the Holy Ghost I do miracles I do ministry in the Holy Ghost oh in the Holy Ghost I do miracles I raise the dead I cause men to save in the Holy Ghost oh in the Holy Ghost 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 power on my inside power on my inside in the Holy Ghost 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 it's a new level it's a new season in the Holy Ghost in the Holy Ghost in the Holy Ghost in the Holy Ghost the supernatural at work in me in the Holy Ghost in the Holy Ghost I am not afraid in the Holy Ghost I am strengthened in the Holy Ghost there is glory mighty working power at work in me oh there is glory mighty working power at work in me oh at work in me there is glory mighty working power oh at work in me at work in me my life will never be the same again the power at work in me my nation will never be the same again i've got the power on my inside i'm not living the same i've got the power on my inside at work in me in the holy ghost Hi-ya! and we say holy ghost holy ghost holy ghost Oh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, oh, Holy Ghost, 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 Holy it's not by power, not by might, but by your spirit and me. Ah. I am moved by your spirit. I am led by your spirit. I am moved by your spirit. Like never before. 
Your power at work in me. Your spirit at work in me. No longer I that lives, but Christ that lives in me. Oh, oh, oh. your power at work in me. Like never before. Your power at work in me. Oh, your glory is all I have. Your glory is all I have. Your power is all I have. Zoe, 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 Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, the life of God. Zoe, 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 Zoe. Let me hear you say, Zoe, Zoe, life of God. The power of God in me. Zoe, Zoe. Zoe, 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 this life, this life that I have, oh, this life that I have, this life, oh, oh, this life that I have, that I have. He's alive. This life that I have is alive. Oh, so away, so away, so away. The power of God at work in me. The life of God. So away, so away. of God. Zoe. This life that I have is the life of God in me. This life that I have is the life of God. This joy that I have is the joy of the Holy Ghost. This joy that I have is the joy of the Lord. This life, this life that I have is the life of Christ. This life that I have is the life. This joy that I have is the joy. This joy that I have. The life of God in me, ah, the life of God in me, oh Zaya, the life of God in me, 
This life that I have is a life of God in this life. This life that I have is a life. Oh, this life that I have is a life. This life that I have is a life. This life. Is a life. It's life that I have. It's life. This life that I have is life. This life that I have is life. So we. So we. So we. The life of God. Oh yeah. Zoe. 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 Asha la bayana. Kose ya bayana. Ora bayana. The Holy Ghost is here at work in me. His power 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 at work in me. His power. His power, 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 His power. Healing is away. Uh, there is power in the way. There is glory in the way. Power in the way. There is power in the way. Healing in the way. Power in the way. Direction in the way. Power in the way. Say. Healing in the way. Say. Favor in the way, say. Direction in the way. Power in the way, say. Healing in the way. Favor in the way, say. Direction in the way, say. Power in the way, say. Healing in the way, say. Favor in the way, say. Direction in the way, say. There is power in the way, say. Healing in the way, say. Favor in the way, say. Direction in the way, say. There is power in the way, say. Healing in the way, say. Favor in the way, say. Direction in the way, say. There is power in the way, say. Healing in the way, say. Favor in the way, say. Direction in the way, say. Watch out, my power in the way, say. Healing in the way, say. Favor in the way, say. Direction in the way, say. Power in the way, say. Healing in the way, say. Favor in the way, say. Direction in the way, say. There is power in the way, say. Healing in the way, say. Favor in the way, say. 
Direction is the way, say. There is power in the way, say. Healing is the way, say. Favor is the way, say. Direction is the way, say. There is power in the way, say. Healing is the way, say. Favor is the way, say. Direction is the way, say. I am a man in a man of a man. Jose, another man is a bad. I This life that I have is the life of God in me. This life that I have is the life of God. This life. That I have is the life of God in me. This life that I have is the life of Christ. This life that I have is the life of God in me. This life that I have is the life to serve the Lord. This life that I have is the life of God in me. This life that I have is the life for the service of the saints. This life that I have is the life of God in me. This life that I have is the life of God. The way, the way, the way, the way, the way, the way. The way everybody shouts the way Kaya the way the way the life of God at work on my inside the life of Christ at work in me the life of God hey, the way nations we take in territories so way 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 Ella kapara de ana zoe kala pata kala bana zoe ie ke barata kata zoe ele pekata barata zoe e bala kamana ya zoe ke kapala kapa zoe ishata barata kata zoe ele ke barata kapa zoe ke kapala lana ka zoe ela paka pata pa Zoe, the kapara te beleka. Zoe, the la paka pata pata. Zoe, the shabara ka kapala. Zoe, kara balara. This life that I have is the life of the Christ in me. Oh, this life that I have is the life of God. This joy that I have. Is the joy of the Holy Ghost. This life that I have is the life of God. This joy that I have, I will use it to preach the gospel. I have this joy that I have, we take in nations with it. I have this life that I have. I will lay my hands on the sick and they will recover. This joy that I have is the joy of the Holy Ghost. Zoe! 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 There's 
power in me. There is healing in me. This life that I have is the life of God in me. This life that I have is the life of God. This life that I have is the life of God in me. This life that I have is the life of God. This peace that I have is the peace of the Holy Ghost. This peace that I have is the peace of the Lord. This joy that I have, nothing, nothing, nothing can ever take it away. This grace that I have is an everlasting thing, grace. This love that I have is the love of the Holy Ghost. This love that I have is the love of the Lord. This joy that I have is the joy of the Holy Ghost. This joy that I have is the joy of the Lord. This peace that I have is the peace of the Holy Ghost. This peace that I have, it lasts forever and ever. This joy that I have is the joy of the Holy Ghost. This joy that I have is the joy. Oh, so way, so way, so way, so way, so way. The life of God, yeah, yeah, yeah. So way, so way, so way, so way, so way. This life that I have is the life of God. This life that I have is the life of Christ in me. This life that I have is the life of God. Created to your will. I'm your servant. I am yours. I'm consecrated to. 
to your will I'm your song of arms I am yours Use me Jesus Use me Jesus I am yours Use me Jesus Use me Jesus I am yours I'm consecrated Worshiping for great things that opens up in your life from this day. Worshiping for new dimensions of understanding exploits ministry. Worshiping for favors, for direction, for wisdom, for clarity. Just worship him that you will walk in precision. No trial and error. No error. Your life is error free. Just worship him and thank him that you will walk within the plan. You will walk in his purpose. You will establish his kingdom on the earth. You will shine his light in the nations. You will shine his light in the communities. Ziboroko Sada. Let's sing the full song. Let there be light shining in the nations. Let's go. Shining out of darkness. Let there be light. We are in God's new creation. Let's sing it as a prayer. Let there be light. Shining on the nation. Let there be light. Shining out of the darkness. Let there be light. We are God's new creation. is 
light that lighted every man that cometh into the world. There is hope for our nations. Yeah, there is hope for our cities because of you. So let your light shine. Father, thank you. Great things have happened here. There's a stirring in this place like never before. And your people go forth from victory to victory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. And every believer says a powerful amen. What a service. What a service. Don't your neighbor say you will never be the same again. Tell the neighbor you're going back. A new man. Your city have never seen you before. So once you land, possess the city. Glory. I want to take up your honor offerings we give and celebrate as we give and honor Christ. And I want to use the opportunity to also mention that last Sunday we asked people because usually you all know that when we do 30 days I take up an offering for myself. But this year I decided that don't give me that offering. That offering is going to go to projects plus other sacrificial givings you will make to help us with our second phase of project this year. Our target is about $235,000. That's money, but that's also not money because God has people. So all of us, we unitedly give towards that cause so that we can do the things we need to do for, for the kingdom. Get the gospel out, put all the things we need to put together. And uh, I'm telling you, the future is glorious. You didn't say amen to that. So those online, if you want to give to that project, just send a mail to Dr. Abel Damina at yahoo.com. We don't like asking for monies online. So when you send us a mail, we will now send you a reply with the banking details where you redeem your commitment. Remember, the commitment is over a period of one month. From now till the end of August, you have to redeem the commitment. So take your time and make a quality commitment to help us, you know, with that project. Some of you can give us $10,000, $5,000, $1,000, $500, even $100, depending on your capacity. You know, and if God is moving you to do more, is his kingdom and his glory we belong to. So let's do it for his glory. Amen. So if you're sending a mail, shoot it. We'll send you all the banking details. But we are from now till the end of August to redeem this commitment. And thank you all those who have sent us emails already. And thank you for all those that are willing in this house to do much more for the kingdom. Praise God. All right. Lift up your offerings. Father, we give in faith. We give you in honor of the word we've just heard. We celebrate the victory that is ours. And as we celebrate, we rejoice because this is the new phase of our lives. Great things are bound to explode. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Those giving online, the banking details are scrolling. And the platform is available anywhere on the pulpit. Ushers will direct you. Pastor Dan Tutu from Abuja Campus. Hit it. Let's do it. As we celebrate. Glory to God. Come on. Give Jesus a shout of praise. A shout of celebration. Woo! We bless you, Father. Every praise, yes you are. Every word of worship, oh, every praise, every praise, is you are. Yeah, every praise, yes you are. Every word of worship, in the world of God, oh, every praise, every praise. It's you, oh God. Oh, every prayer is to tip. Every word of worship. Oh, oh every prayer. Every prayer. Hey. Woo. Can 
until the need was met. What was the need? Forgiveness of sin. So we give and give and give until all the souls in this earth that have heard the gospel. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Take a good offering as you take that offering. And those who have their kingdom investment for, this, uh, for today, for this service, get your kingdom investment out. And then when you come with your kingdom investment, the kingdom investment will go into the basket. And the worship offering for this service will come right here. And don't always forget we give intentionally. We give on purpose. For every man as he had proposed in his heart, let him give. Purposely, just take that offering and lift it up and thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for the privilege to give. We have enjoyed so much of God's grace. Abundance of it. Father, we thank you. We thank you and thank you and thank you for the abundance of all things. Thank you for the privilege to give. We give in faith. We give in light. And we give with understanding. Thank you for accepting our offerings. And thank you for the blessing. In Jesus name. And let the believer shout amen. amen. Right. Woo. There is no name so sweet. Like Jesus name. Son of God, who rose again? There is no name so sweet than Jesus' name. He's the Son, the Son of God, God, God. The work of your hands, great is thy name. Everybody say, Wonderful, are the works of the work. Oh, oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Are the works of your hey, great is. Everybody wave your hands, wonderful, marvelous, other words, oh, 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 yeah. oh, with one voice we declare wonderful, wonderful, marvelous, other words of my God, hey, yeah. oh, wonderful, 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 marvelous, other words. Of my God, hey, Woo! oh, 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 wonderful, wonderful, uh, 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 uh. wonderful, other works of your hand, hey, yeah, the Lord, oh, wonderful, 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 yeah, the Lord, hey, of 
your hands. Whoa, everybody, everybody, everybody. Wonderful, wonderful. wonderful marvelous. Other words. Oh my God. Hey. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Marvelous. Other words. Oh my God. Jams, uh, they are very born again. Glory to God! Glory! Glory! Are you tired? We just start to amen. All right, you can be seated quickly. I have two things to do. First of all, I want to pray for all partners of this ministry. Honey, come, let's pray for all partners. Today's Partnership Sunday. And for those online, today's Partnership Sunday. And our campuses, today's Partnership Sunday. And we're glad we have a number of our campus people here to pray for our partners. And they, they will stand in for all partners in all the campuses all over the world. So that all our partners are efficient and uh, we continue to pray for all of you. Thank you for partnering with us. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for always praying for us. And giving to make this vision find full expression. We're so excited. We're honored. And uh, we want, to, want you to know that every time we pray, even when we're offline in the church here, we pray for all partners every month. And if you have your commitment here, you can come with it. If you have done yours in the bank or you plan to do it within the week, you can also come forward. Let's pray for you. So all partners, please come forward. We want to pray for you today. You know, and uh, stand in faith. With, with you and all the partners around the world that are not here, that as they continue to partner with us, we continue to advance the cause of Christ. Amen. Double, double portion. Yeah. It's double portion. Yeah. It's double portion. Praise God. It's important. Since we don't see you every Sunday, carry as much as you can carry. Yeah. Carry as much as you can carry. Praise God. All right, we're waiting for you, partners, partners. If you can't find space at the pulpit, just stand somewhere in the aisles. We, we want you to know we honor you and love you. Together, we will do more for the kingdom. Plenty of money is coming. Look, look, can you see it? Money. Money. More. Ele Mojaka. Money is coming. Tell your neighbor, money is coming. Tell your neighbor, very soon, when we announce this kind of budget, one of us will give it. Very, very soon. Just write it off. It's happening. It's happening. Mama say, I will write it off. The earth is the Lord. Sure, you know I have that anointing. Right? I have it too. Uh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Money comet. Get ready for it. Yeah. Those of you that have been going through some trying times, it's over. You're living here to see direction solution answers a way of escape has been made you will identify it in the name of jesus father we pray for all the partners here today on behalf of all our partners around the world in the campuses we rejoice that you have brought us together as a family to carry out your divine mandate on the earth so we thank you for this selfless sacrifice giving partners lord we pray that each partner here is enriched enriched in all things god has made all grace abound towards you so you will always have sufficiency in all things you are bound unto every good work we decree that supernaturally you have ideas concepts insights solution direction go and make wealth go and make money in the name of jesus you have supernatural relationships the work of your hands are blessed your work in your office is blessed I decree that your business is blessed. I decree that you will, know, you will know what to do and what not to do at each season and time. 
in the name of Jesus. Your health is robust. No sickness, no disease for you. You are healthy and strong. In the name of Jesus, delivered from wicked and reasonable men, conspiracies aborted, satanic arrangements aborted, everything the enemy has set up aborted. Supernaturally, you will know your way around to fulfill the purpose of God. David said, Thou hast made me wiser than all my enemies, even though they are ever with me. That wisdom is at work in you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will continue to enjoy the goodness of God in the land of the living. Great grace, great peace, great comfort. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Please, you can drop it if you have it, if you have redeemed all you plan to do. Great grace, thank you again and again and again. Praise God. We're getting ready to close in another five minutes or so. It's been a time. I know we have Bible school students to graduate. We will, that's the last thing we will do. We'll just do it as we are going. Okay. We're not actually graduating. Uh, we're not graduating because they have not finished. Okay, they're coming back for another month and another month. But today we just want to mark the end of phase one. Uh, we'll mark the end of phase one. Okay, Praise God. Are you ready, Pastor Matthew, for the graduation? We can do that in another 10, 15 minutes. Can I have a powerful amen? amen? Okay, good. Before we do that quickly, there's a family here with a baby. I've just been informed. Next time, if you don't inform me on time, I will not do the dedication. I must be informed a day before so I can factor it in my plan. I've, I've told you that before, Pastor Cornell. If you do it again, I will not honor it. Okay. All right, let's welcome the family quickly so I can dedicate the baby. <clears throat> clap well for them it's not the fault of the parents it's the fault of the pastor <laughs> glory to God you know in power city we dedicate babies but even if we don't dedicate them the parents can dedicate them I hope you know that yes bless you and congratulations welcome back we, you don't have to bring your babies for dedication. You can dedicate them yourself. But there's nothing wrong in bringing them for me to dedicate. Jesus dedicated babies. Okay, they brought him to Jesus and the disciples were trying to drive them away. And Jesus said, oh, oh, suffer them to come for such is the kingdom. Honey, please come. So when we dedicate babies, I don't preach, I hope you know. We just bless the baby and pray for you people, all right? The name of the baby is Stanis. Stanis. What's the meaning of Stannis? Honesty and faith. Someone that is honest and fair. Honesty and fair. Stannis. Is that English? Add it to my vocabulary. <laughs> you must be Stannis. As a worker in the kingdom of God, you must be Stannis. Everybody stretch your hands towards the baby. Shout, be blessed, Stannis. Three times, one, two, go. Be blessed, two. Be blessed, Three. Be blessed, we lay hands on you, Stannis, and we call you blessed. Blessed of the Lord Jesus. You grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and man. You lack nothing. You are taught of the Lord, and great is your peace. You grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and man. It is well with you. Fulfill the purpose of God for your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Parents, please kneel down. Let's pray for husband and wife. Stretch your hands towards the parents. Let's pray for them that they lack nothing. They are enriched in all things and they enjoy the grace of Christ. Father, we lay hands on the parents of Stannis and we decree that both of you continue to enjoy the goodness of God. That revelation knowledge continues to grow big on your inside until nothing else matters. The Lord keep you perfect that which concerns you. And we decree that the purpose of God for your life continues to find expression. You will not lack any resource in raising up standings. Great grace is yours. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. Let's clap for the parents. Praise. All right. Uh. Pastor Matthew, bring him up to the microphone. Let's clap for him to graduate the students. Can we have the mic? Oh, glory to God. 
Glory. Glory. Come on, say glory. Oh, with Jesus, just say glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Wow, it's been an awesome 30 days of power Bible school. This Bible school is not like any other. Praise God. Hallelujah. Where power Bible school students do I have a witness in the house? Whoa. Whoa. First of all, I want to say big, big thank you to our father, our pastor, our teacher, our mentor, our own very global Baba. We celebrate you, sir. Thank you, Baba, now for the labor of love. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the teaching. Thank you for the instruction. And thank you very much for all the guidance you have given us in this special, unique 30 days power Bible school. Hallelujah. Somebody is not excited. <laughs> Glory to God. It's been 30 days of intensive study. And today we'll be graduating all the students in the power bible school i thought you would rejoice more than that praise god before i invite our our papa i'd like to have all the instructors dr gabriel pastor philemon and apostle adams to join me apostle prince to join me on the platform as well as we graduate these wonderful students of power city come on celebrate them hallelujah praise god i would also like to invite the class captain pastor ben power city asaba as he'll be doing the presentation alongside praise god now with jesus joy and great celebration i would like to use this opportunity to invite all the power bible school students we're going to do all of the graduation this end of this phase together praise god so i want all the power bible school students to step forward into the front here hallelujah please celebrate them as they come forward <laughs> glory please come forward they came from all power bible all power city campuses they came from everywhere we have those who are also online who have followed for 30 days we acknowledge you as well and we know you'll be physically here come january so all students please celebrate them as a comfort very quickly let's comfort very quickly so we can do this quickly because of time hallelujah we have all of your names here and we thank god for everything that god has seen you through these 30 days of intensive bible school hallelujah but we have people all the way from Eket as well that joined online and they're physically here in the hall today. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate them. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We thank God for the privilege, Baba. We thank you for the honor. Thank you for the, the labor of love in these 30 days of Bible school. Thank you, Baba. We celebrate you. Now with Jesus joy, please just join hand and welcome our, our Papa as we conclude this july 2022 power bible school glory 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 whoa baba thank you thank you pastor Mars. thank you awesome. dr gabriel thank you pastor philemon and pastor prince for all the time you spent in the classes just making foolproof of God's mandate. And we want to appreciate all of you students whose hearts are open to Christ. You know, ministry is doctrine. A man without doctrine has no ministry. So we are glad to see the kind of hunger and commitment in your hearts for the mandate. And we are committed to teach you everything we ought to teach you. So we're excited. And then, like we said, we're looking back to you coming back to class in the month of January. Okay, so we'll be waiting for all of you. And there's still, do, you know, there's still room for those who want to join for January class to come you know, and register before January for Power Bible School. It's going to be very powerful, all right? So, Pastor Matt, we can graduate. Yes, Baba. So, but before the graduation and uh, you're speaking on them, we have a presentation of honor and what they have uh, written to speak. And I'm calling on Pastor Ben 
the class captain for July 2022 to step forward and do the presentation and honor on behalf of the, the Power Bible School student. Glory! 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 Amen! Papa, thank you. Um, on behalf of the students, we are here to say thank you. You know, your obedience to Christ has delivered us from the shackles of religion, shackles of um, uh, religion demons out there. And uh, right now, uh, as your student, we are proud to call ourselves your student. And throughout this Bible school, it is now that we know in clear terms, in simplicity, what it means to be a Christian. Right now, we can boldly say, we can boldly sing in the Spirit, we can boldly dance in the Spirit, we can boldly rejoice in the Spirit. So we are here to say thank you for your labor of love over us. You always ensure that we have enough food to eat. You are not even waiting for us. Enough food. Enough food to eat. And you are not just a spiritual father to us. Uh, for most of us, or all of us here, we are not just learning doctrine from you. We are learning your manner of life. We are learning your patience. We are learning your, your uh, the relationship, your family life. All together has been a blessing to all of us. And I won't fail to recognize our global mama in the house. <laughs> glory. Please, students, let's give a three glory to our mama. Glory. 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 Mama, thank you very much. Words alone won't be enough to appreciate our hearts, thought, gratitude to you. Uh, even from afar, you have imparted in our lives. Um, you have imparted even in our sisters, in our uh, wives. Even us as guys, you have really imparted us. And also, Mama made sure that throughout our Bible school, that we have dinner all day. So, you have dinner all day. So, so Mama, thank you. Thank you very much. And Papa, also, we are so grateful for the faithful and sound teachers you placed over us. Pastor Philemon, <laughs> Pastor Matthew, Dr. Gabriel, Apostle Prince. Glory! Papa, we have learned so many from them. Uh, now we know uh, that love is not just a noun, it's an action word. It's an action word. And <laughs> praise, we have learned so many. We have learned so many. And uh, we also learned that in discipleship, the first thing we commit ourselves to is prayer. And not just prayer, we'll pray with ghost too. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. So, Papa, the tenacity has put in our hearts fire for ministry. We are just going back to take over our cities. We are going back to take over. Papa, those fighting and opposing you uh, are ignorant men because they don't know that you have giants. You have gladiators. You have generals. You have army that are being trained and are still undergoing training. This is just a first semester. First semester in our internal Bible school. We will never graduate. We will never graduate. Father, Papa, it's an honor to say that we are internally students for this course. For this course. So with Jesus' joy, uh, we decline offering students. Uh, let's present our honor offering to our Papa. Glory! Thank you for the offerings. Thank you. And uh, we're proud of you. We expect great things from you. And we know you will not fail. Your campuses will feel the fire. They will feel it. And because of you, many more will come to Bible school. So that we can have workmen that needs not to be ashamed. Who will rightly divide the word of truth. And you will never lack. You will always have more than enough to fulfill the purpose of God for your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Matt, anything else? Okay, so what we'll do is when we close, all of you will come so we can do an official picture together. Since we don't have time to take one, 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 one picture, we'll just do a group picture together with all your teachers, with Mama and myself, and you can keep that for memory. On your proper graduation, you will wear a gown. Mm -hmm. Me too. I will wear my own gown. Then we'll graduate you well. Does that make sense? 
else was so my God bless you. We'll see you immediately. We close. Congratulations. Let's celebrate the students. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. They've been here for 30 good days. And of all the Bible schools we have done, Pastor Math, what do you people think? This has been the best we have had. Of all the power Bible schools, this has been the best, right? All the teachers, they tell me this, this is the best class because all of them have been in power Bible school. So they know what power Bible school is. Because in Bible, power Bible school, the policy is you cannot teach in power Bible school till you have gone through it and graduated. So you know what to do. So they've gone through and they know what it is. So campus coordinators expect fireworks as your students are back. And try and make sure you get them busy. And campuses that have not sent people to Bible school, prepare your team for January. It's going to be 30 days. We train them, send them back to make work easy at the campuses. It's really exciting. I'm very happy. Can I have a good amen? amen. All right, we're ready to go. Should we go or we stay? No, you know if we stay here, work will not be done now. <laughs> Glory to God. All right, Wednesday we meet in clusters. We meet in their houses on Wednesday. The next Sunday service continues at usual times. All right, um, what else? I think that's all. Pastor Praise, that's all right. Okay, yes, commitment. Those of you who want to make commitments to us, our project, ushers quickly move around the aisles with a piece of paper. If you need a paper to make a commitment towards the project, it's one month you redeem between now and the end of August. The end of August is the end of this particular commitment. So the ushers are going around with papers. If you need a paper to commit yourself and just give, I'll pick it up myself at the end of this service. It's been just wonderful. Did you enjoy it?